I'm really excited about this one. This is one of my favorite spots. It is a secret location though. I cannot tell you where I am. I haven't even walked inside yet. And this is exactly why I like coming here. But just kidding. It, it has a huge chip and no price. That is really a shame because that is gorgeous. Well, I can already tell that this is newer than I'd like it to be, uh, but it's pretty awesome. I'd say it's late 80s, early 90s. It's only $2, <laughs> um, which is definitely a good deal, but I think I'm going to pass just due to its age, or I should say lack thereof. I like this ashtray too. It's got a great look. <laughs> Get the schmutz out of it. It's only like $3, but I had this one before and it took a really long time and it ended up selling for like 11 bucks. They have so much nice glass here, uh, but a lot of it is either new or reproduction. Uh, either way, it's all retail for sure. There's some really nice pieces though. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm kind of into this? It's like a Christmas cactus. 15. So. Uh... <laughs> Definitely special. Oh, just kidding. That's solid concrete. <laughs> I like the frog bank. He's missing a stopper, but he seems in overall pretty good condition. Though, unfortunately, it looks like he's also missing his price. Hmm. <laughs> I usually don't pay much mind to these, but how can you not notice this? It's epic. And 35 I feel like, is a really good price. Uh, if I was buying that for myself, I wouldn't think twice, but it would cost a fortune to ship that. Cute little Santa votive. It's only six dollars, but it's not my favorite. A lot of the Christmas I'm seeing here is more 70s, 80s. Um, there's a few things hidden. Little hobbyist snowman. <laughs> He's got a funny face. Okay, whoa. Um, I've never seen this one before. It is a Josef Originals. $45, which if I was a, buying it as a collector, I wouldn't think twice. It looks like in perfect condition. I am going to go ahead and look this one up. So very surprising. Uh, unfortunately, it was too close. This is why I love coming here. Now, these cats stuck out, um, but they are reproduction. Uh, their eyes are stickers and not painted. So that's definitely a red flag. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this cat peeking out at me. It's a glasses tray. Uh, but, oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm really surprised to find that's made in China. I'm also really disappointed. I wish I hadn't seen that. These dolls are definitely different. It's $12 for the pair. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's a really good price, but I also am completely unfamiliar with their resale value. Oh, I see a clown. <laughs> it's got really funny teeth. $9.50, and it's busted, unfortunately. <laughs> wow, this is such a cute tin toy stroller. Uh, it's definitely unique. I haven't seen one quite like this before. This is really one of those places where you never know what you're going to find buried in here. Uh, it's time to dig in. I don't know why I'm always so attracted to those uh, big wood, uh, wood cutout decorations. I feel like they usually have some pretty <laughs> unique expressions. The snowman one is pretty great. And I have a Santa in my window year round. Oh, that's so random. <laughs> I love this hallway so much. I mean, how could you not? Risque glass, but 
she's missing a pretty crucial part of her decal there. Wow, this was not here last time I was here. Uh, it probably belongs to the owner. He, they've got like a seriously cool collection. It looks like an old store display. Is it original? Yeah, it's definitely original. Oh, wow. These look like they're new in the original box? Yeah, they are, and they're only $8. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, these fuzzy cats usually, fuzzy ceramic, excuse me, sell pretty well. Um, I can see they're all there, so I don't really want to dig too hard to get them both out. Oh my gosh, so cute. So, obviously, I'm definitely going to take this. Uh, the last one I had that was brand new, essentially, sold for 45 Hmm, what's this owl situation? I like his big eyes. It's definitely a hobbyist piece. Huh. Look at this horse here. It's ceramic. It's only four dollars. It's definitely another hobbyist piece. It's not signed though, so I can't really uh, judge its age appropriately. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is uh, definitely a new booth. This hat, wow, that's uh, <laughs> that's definitely an epic look. It's kind of like a 1920s Barney. <laughs> okay, this one though, I'm completely obsessed with. It's pretty unique. I'm definitely gonna try this one on. <laughs> well, words cannot describe how utterly tragic this was on. I mean, really not a good look. I was considering getting it for resale, but I'm definitely going to pass after that. This is quite fabulous. Movie star nightgown. Well, it's definitely a movie star look. Love the polka dots. It's kind of a weird size, though. Oh, <laughs> literally a brand called movie star <laughs> um yeah it's it's kind of short and very wide it feels a little boxy mm, if it was a little less boxy i would consider it uh consider putting it in my shop and this little dog figurine's cute but he's missing his fuzz what about this cat hmm it's pretty interesting. It's in good condition. The price is right, but I'm not obsessed with it. People are always telling me to pick these up. You know what? I, I promise I do from time to time. This one's really pretty. Uh, it's got some weird stain spots on it. But, I mean, it's only $2. <laughs> so, you can't really complain too much. The back is filled with that planter foam, which I've bought planters like that in the past. But now I'm seeing it's got a couple little nicks. Uh, I might still do it. Oh, actually just kidding. That is repaired. So, uh, unfortunately, I am going to leave this one. I think it's got one too many things wrong with it. Don't hate me. <laughs> well, so far this has been kind of a bust. I really like this glasses set. It's $34 for the set, which if I was buying for myself, I wouldn't think twice. But it would cost a lot of packing materials to ship this. I have to say, I have an obsession with checkerboard floors. Uh, that's my one requirement in a kitchen. Checkerboard floors. One of those puppet dolls. I thought it was Charlotte and Carthy at first, but it's definitely not. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with doll cases. I mean, it's just so cute. The colors and the poodle. Love it. Funny little gum cat. I've had variations of this in the past. I really can't tell you how many times I've considered buying this. Uh, it's extremely weird, but it's animatronic. The price is decent, but it needs rewiring, which is really the only thing that I'm kind of like... Ooh, I don't really want to unpack that can of worms, but she is quite great. Well, I didn't find that much today. I just got my cat, but it's okay. 